we've learned something important, that the progress that we fought for, that many of you were on the front lines of, and that we've celebrated and maybe even taken for granted, may not be as secure as we once expected. Some of the changes we're seeing may seem small, but they matter a great deal if you're the person affected. Like, for example, whether or not you're counted in the census. Others carry historic significance, like the future of the Supreme Court. And it is not just here in our country that we're seeing clouds gathering on the horizon. In recent weeks, we've heard terrifying accounts from Chechnya of gay and bisexual men being taken from their homes and families, tortured, even killed. And when government authorities were confronted with these reports, their response was chilling. They said, you cannot arrest or repress people who do not exist. The United States government, yes, this government, should demand an end to the persecution of innocent people across the world. I think we have to face the fact that we may not ever be able to count on this administration to lead on LGBT issues. Let's remember 2018, the midterm elections. I know the election hit a lot of us hard. <laughs> but I can tell you this. Even when it feels tempting to pull the covers over your heads, <laughs> please keep going. When you feel a little down, when a good friend or a loved one says, quit yelling at the television set, <laughs> just remember, we need to resist, insist, persist, and enlist, and make sure our voices and our votes count. <laughs>